Hi guys, I'm Andy and welcome back to Backpacking UK. If hiking, backpacking and wild camping are your thing, please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today we're going to be reviewing the ultimate winter sleeping bag. This is the Rab Ascent 1100 four season sleeping bag. Now this is a proper winter sleeping bag. Now, before I bought this Rab Ascent 1100 sleeping bag, I had an OEX four sleeves and sleeping bag. Now, as you can see, there's quite a difference <laughs> between the two. Now this OEX sleeping bag's got a comfort rating of minus one. Um, it just doesn't. It's You need to add on three to five degrees, which means when it gets to around about zero, you're gonna be pretty cold in the sleeping bag unless you're wearing all your clothes. Now, I wanted to camp all year round and the only real way to do that is to have a proper four season tent, a proper insulated inflatable sleeping mat and a proper winter sleeping bag. And this is what I came up with. So this Rabasent sleeping bag, is 310 pounds which is a lot of money but winter sleeping bags especially the expedition grade ones can go up to about a thousand pound so as far as proper winter sleeping bags are concerned 310 pound isn't too bad it's still a lot of money i mean if you shop around i managed to get this for 220 pounds which is not too bad and certainly from my use of it that does represent some good value for money. So this has 1100 grams of 650 fill power down in it. So it's got lots and lots of insulation in there, which is really important to keep you warm. Despite its size, and I'll show you in a minute, being a down sleeping bag it does actually compress right down. You can get all the air out of it so it'll fit in your backpack. Now this Rab sleeping bag, it's actually made of hydrophobic down, um, which basically means it's got some sort of water resistancy. Um, it's made in conjunction with Nick Wax. You might have Nick Wax products for your clothing or your boots. It's really good for being water resistant. So this is aimed for the recreational camper so it's been designed for sort of fairly regular use really um, and also not always in the best conditions. And um, the Pertex fabric's also a little bit water resistant as well. So with the outer shell and the down, you can get away with getting this a little bit damp, um, which is excellent because standard down, when it gets wet, just doesn't work and just doesn't keep you warm. So as I said, the ascent range is for recreational use. Um, it also means it's a very generous size. And I'll show you in a minute, um, but it's a mummy style sleeping bag. But you've got a really wide sleeping bag, both at its widest point and the toe box too. So you've got loads of wriggle room in there. So let's get this Rab four season sleeping bag out and let's take a look. So here we have it, this Pertex quantum fabric is absolutely lovely it is so so comfy ridiculously comfy so nice next to your skin as well um, but this Rabasent 1100 I'll show you some of the features now the most important feature I believe of a proper winter sleeping bag is a neck baffle you can have a little toggle like this which most sleeping bags have and get it nice and tight around your face. But for me, it's any cold air coming down from the top into your sleeping bag. I've woken up time and time again because of that. And this Rab sleeping bag has really chunky neck baffles, both at the back, but also at the front too. Really nice filled, insulated neck baffle, which is really important for a good night's sleep. This particular bag is a uh, left-handed zip. Uh, it's got a little bit of Velcro at the top to stop the zip accidentally coming down. It's got a nice little toggle there as well. 
Um, the only thing I would say against this sleeping bag is it doesn't have any protection from the zip accidentally snagging against the fabric, which oh, I, I think that's unforgivable really. Cheap sleeping bags have that. So this Rab sleeping bag should certainly have that too. So what we've got here, we've got a little zipper pocket, which is meant for your mobile phone. So you can keep your phone in with you. So it's always accessible if you need it. It's also got a limit rating of minus 25 degrees Celsius. So that shows just how low you can take this. Now, they don't give any comfort ratings, but certainly from the use that I've had out of it, you can use it up to like five degrees, so that's plus five degrees. Um, but I know for a fact it can go down to minus 10. Um, I think on Rab's website, somebody's actually taken one of these up to Everest Base Camp uh, where it got down to minus 15 degrees C. So that shows you just how good it is. But don't think it has to be freezing to use this sleeping bag. You can use it up to five degrees and you're not going to absolute bake in this. You're just gonna have a really good night's sleep. Now, for whatever reason, Rab really sketchy with some of the details with this winter sleeping bag, especially when it comes to size. But I've measured it myself with my measuring tape and I make it 210 centimetres long. The foot box is about 55 centimetres wide. And then at this widest point, I make it about 80 centimetres wide. But all I do know is at five foot eight, 172 centimetres, this is a big sleeping bag for me and I've got absolutely loads of wriggle room. It's so, so warm, it's so ridiculously warm. Um, I've genuinely, I can't rate this enough. Um, it is a lot of money, but I do think it is value for money and it will certainly transform your enjoyment of winter camping. Right, so let's get this Rab sleeping bag compressed up in its stuff sack and let's see how small we can make it. So with no real effort really, I've already got it in its stuff sack. So this is it in its own stuff sack. So I've got this as 35 centimetres by 25. So 35 by 25 for a proper winter sleeping bag. I don't think that's bad at all, not at all. And like I say, if you use a compression bag, you can get it even smaller than this. So what I'll do, I'll put the link in the description, but my overall summary is it's a cracking sleeping bag. And don't think the temperatures have got to be in the minuses to make use of this. It's really good up to lows of like five degrees, but it also gives you that peace of mind that it's really meant for those really low temperatures. And I tell you what, it was a game changer for me. So many times when it gets cold, I end up putting all my clothes on. And this is the first sleeping bag that I've ever owned where I don't need to do that. So if you haven't before, check out my other videos. Got over a hundred out there. Hope to see you camping on that mountain soon. Cheers.